Burnett's three home runs in his last two games. Six home runs in his last 13. And right here, you know he's thinking about the fences. In a one-to-one -one game in the ninth inning. Cubs looking for two on a ground ball. Inside 2-0. Oh. Well, that was a changeup that got way inside. Didn't mean to get it there. Now it's 2-0. Oh. Good pitch to hit. The catcher set up way outside and on the outside corner. He just missed with that. It's a hitter's pitch. Oh, he's had just it. He fouled it back. It's right down the middle. It's been Jeremy's problem all year. He's just had pit the pitch to hit and he fouls, it, he fouls it back. That's right there. That's his sweet spot. Yeah, that, that was a good pitch for Jeremy to drive. And as I mentioned, I had a long conversation with Jeremy before the ball game. And you ask him what the difference is between a few months ago and maybe a month ago and today. He said, usually now I'm able to get the sweet spot of the bat on the ball. Well, Girardi put down a changeup, which I find hard to believe. And he shook him off and wants to come into the fastball. Oh, he threw a slider. Mm. Oh. So two and two. Boy, that was right on the corner of the plate. Here's a pitcher's pitch. It's up. Got it on the inside corner. To Jerry, he's just been diving so much inside, but diving towards the plate with a stride that he's really vulnerable inside. Fastball in. Slider. Fastball away. Fastball away, gang. There's another pitch that he hits. That, and you can just see the frustration. It's been this way all year for him. And that is just right there, low out over the plate. He's a dead low ball hitter, and he just, has, all year long, has not been able to contact, make, which, make the proper contact. Which one did you like better, that one or the 2-0 pitch? Uh, this one. Both. Both. The 2-0 pitch was better because it was more over the middle. Fastball in. Slider. And the 2-2. Two -two. He hung in there. Fouled it off his foot. And the frustration mounts. Oh, that's down the middle. Ooh. And up. And very hittable. So he's had at least three, and maybe a fourth when you look at that breaking ball. He's had three good pitches to hit. It's not as though Jeremy hasn't seen anything that he could do some damage with here. Well, let's see what they're going to feature here. Fastball in. Girardi wants to call the fastball in. The pitcher doesn't want to throw it. Change up. Foul the way. Girardi has been shook off twice, three times now on a fastball in. So what does that tell you about Juan Cruz? He doesn't like to throw into left-hand hitters. And I weigh his, he's his natural motion and his natural pitch is to run that real running fastball away from a left-hander. He's not confident because he wants to come inside again. Now he's going to come in for the fastball. Let's see what happens. Missed. So now it's three and two and do you send Fonzie here with Burnett's prone to the strikeout? Yeah, it's a tough call, Fran. Fonzie's not a great runner. And Burnett's is a man who historically has trouble with the strikeout. Roll the dice, run him. Fonzie with the trouble with the pulled muscle. Fastball in, shook him off. Slider, fastball away, change up. Fonzie, bluffs, does it go? Deep right field, doesn't matter. This ball game is over. Home run, Jeremy Burnett's. Mets win it three to one. going to get on average one good pitch per at bat to hit Jeremy probably had four and maybe five in that confrontation the last one was the charm how about a 3-2 change up and he hits the ball over the right field wall runner on first base and Jeremy Burnett goes deep and how about the Mets how animated they were coming out of that dugout after the game winner by Jeremy Burnett turned out to be a very clean crisp ball game
game. And if you're a Mets fan, you go absolutely wild for a game like this, especially when the Mets win, Keith. Well, a good at bat by Burnett. There's the changeup. He wasn't in fastball in prior to that. And it wasn't intimidated by that. He stayed in, change up, up. Jeremy loses it. Joe yeah, Girardi, I'm sorry, Girardi calling fastballs in being shook off. Yeah, it's a good thing Matty Lachlan wasn't in that pile, or Matty not, might not be able to be standing right now as he is with Jeremy Burnett. Well, I'll tell you, there's a lot of good-natured pounding going on uh, in the bullpen at home plate, and Jeremy was given as good as he got, but a sweet moment for you in what has been a month of redemption. September's been brilliant for you. Things have been getting a little bit better, you know. It was definitely nice, and uh, it was a lot of fun coming in home plate and getting the heck beat out of me right there. <laughs> And then you dished it out to Fonzie pretty good as we look at the reaction to the home run. He gave you a changeup, didn't he? Yeah, I did. He got a little change up, And, uh, you know, just like I've been doing there the last couple weeks, just stayed back and uh, saw it good and put a good swing on it. Now, we've talked about this a little bit as this good run has gone on. How important or what is the importance in a tough season of finishing on an up note? I think it's very important for all of us, you know, a team and everybody individually because the fact is you're going into four and a half months of no baseball and, you know, the last thing you remember, if it's a good thing, it's better than bad memories. <laughs> Without question. You've also been quoted recently as saying you're going to do a little weight work in the offseason, a little more than you've done before. Yeah, you know, I've, I've been getting in pretty good shape here the last few years. I've never been a real big weightlifter, and I'm still not going to go nuts with it, but I just have mentioned that I'll probably incorporate a little more of that. Well, the Mets are hoping to see a little more of a home run in, in your game the rest of the way, and, of course, next year. Jeremy, thanks for stopping by. Let's hope so. Thank you. Jeremy Burnitz joining us here. Howie Rose and the fans applaud his game-winning home run, and September's been a fine month indeed for the Mets right fielder. And if it continues that way, then those weights will feel just a little bit lighter in the offseason. Burnett's with a home run to win it. His 19th of the year, 3-1 the final.